the home cooks have just 45 minutes to create a dish with conch and sea snails with the added twist of using another competitor's ingredients. It's just another day in the kitchen. Are you kidding me? Conch and sea snails are going to totally mess these guys up. I have eaten conch and snails before. I've never prepared them. Jennifer, what are you making here? It's kind of like um, chipino. Chipino is a fish stew, right? Right, and so there's beautiful ingredients here. Are you comfortable with snails? They're really strong smelling, and I'm just worried that it might be a little too much. So Jennifer, who's going home? Well, it's not me. My motto is going home's not an option, and I'm going to make sure of that today. Good luck. Thank you. Michael. Hello, chef. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How about you? I'm a little frazzled. At first, I my trouble was that I was looking at the, the ingredients as if I was lit. And that's impossible. Tell me what it is that you're going to cook. I'm going to do a nice, fresh conch ceviche. Now, have you worked with conch before? <laughs> Never. Well, I'll let you carry on. Thank you so Best much. Luck. Thanks, Thank Michael. Thank you. I want my ceviche to be well marinated with a nice oil dressing on it, but I don't want it to be too acidic. I don't want it to be swimming in lime juice. Stakes are high because we're in the top eight. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I gotta do something different. I gotta get out of my comfort zone. I have not yet made a pasta in this competition, let alone in 45 minutes. I'm taking this risk. Hey, John, how you feeling? I was a little bit rattled at the start, but now I pulled it together. We're making pasta now. We got a fettuccine and a white wine cream sauce, and then we have the periwinkles. It looks interesting. Good luck. Thank you. Ten minutes. You have ten more minutes left. I'm feeling stressed out right now. I'm totally questioning my decision to make two dishes. I'm telling myself, are you insane? Are you stupid? What were you thinking? So Jennifer ended up on Sabrina's station. Obviously, there are two very, very different cooking styles between Jennifer and Sabrina. Jennifer's making what she calls a chipino, which is a fish stew. Unfortunately, I have enough fish varieties to make this a very authentic stew. Well, it tastes really good. John, those big football hands making pasta. I'm really looking forward to tasting. I hope he gets it right. Lynn is really cutting it close here. She's just starting to plate now. One minute. You have one minute left. Right down to the wire. Oh, this is intense. I think I infused that flavor of the conch in there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up! I'm not impressed with myself. Oh, boy. I'm looking down at my dish, and I'm like, this is badass. I'm happy. It's reduced nicely, it looks beautiful, it's super colorful, and it smells great. As I look around, I'm seeing that there's a lot of hearty dishes, and this dish is very minimalist and simple. We're now going to taste all seven of your dishes. John, please bring your dish up here. I was so close to winning in the Mystery Box Challenge. To get this win, I have to be perfect. We have a sea snail and cremini fettuccine with a white wine shallot cream sauce. Wow. Your presentation is going up in the division here. Thank you. That pasta matches that sauce perfectly. We have the nice, soft noodles reacting with this crunchy snail. It could use a little bit of salt. Sea snails is really more about texture. Yeah. You really have to infuse taste into it. So a fantastic looking dish, just a touch more seasoning. Yeah. Thank Good. you. Well done. Michael, please bring up your dish. I am really proud to show this dish. It has a novelty aspect to it, but it looks cool. What you have here is a ceviche, and in front of it is deep-fried mushrooms. When I think of conch, I think of me and my mother just walking on the beach when I was a kid looking for shells. So what it resembles is a shell that washes ashore, lets go of some ceviche, and the mushrooms would be the beach, as in the sand. OK, well, let's try this. I know a lot about ceviche. I'm from South America. I've made so many different types. This, I think, is genius. That you're using the vessel 
just to keep your ceviche in. I think that's interesting. It smells fresh. It smells of like the ocean, actually. Mm. And it's tender, which is very difficult to achieve. It's a great job. Thank you. The ceviche with the little bit of heat, a little bit of acid, you didn't overpower it, which is very important. I'm very impressed. Thank you, Chef. Lynn, please bring your dish up here. I have a tribute to the poor fishermen of New Brunswick because they go and get sea snails at low tide. I skewered the periwinkles between little pieces of baked red peppers. The other dish is a take on a coquille Saint-Jacques. Wonderful. The sea snails are cooked beautifully. Sweet, innocent, unadulterated, fresh, beautiful flavors to them. Exactly like the way I would expect you to serve them if I were on the East Coast. Simple, simple, simple. Absolutely. Well done. Thank you very much, Chef. What's on top here? It's uh, fresh cheese. Is there potato? Is yeah, there just, just around the edges, just to keep everything in. I gotta tell you, I find this here a little bit muddled. Okay. I think it's the cheese and the, and the cream. It just seems a, a bit heavy-handed for me. Okay. I think it's great that you did two different applications. I wish that this was combined in here in some way. It would have just elevated it for okay, me. Okay, Chef. Jennifer, please bring up your dish. What do we have here? So it's loosely inspired on a cioppino, a fish stew, and finished it off using the sea snails in there. So what I tried to do was infuse some of those flavors using the conch. Where is the conch? Oh, no, the conch is not in there. You didn't I didn't add that, okay. No, I removed it. We've got tomatoes and a lot of tomato in here. The problem I'm having here is this was not a tomato challenge. 